Hey guys, Kansas 97 still 171. Gonna try a night drive here with the new camera. No idea what it's gonna show or what you'll see. Alright guys, we'll hammer it here a little. <sighs> just came back from having dinner with my friend Tom, took his S2000, drove up to uh, Dayton, went to, uh, is it the Jersey Deli, Dairy, I think that's what it's called, the Jersey Dairy, really good, got uh, good food, and an ice cream shop, they have a, it's actually a dairy, have cows, imagine that, at a dairy. So all the ice creams made fresh on site. And from cow to your plate, I guess. <laughs> I'll hit it again now too with the windows up. Careful, there's deer run around through here. <clears throat> Just ordered some HIDs for this car. Um, DDM tuning. <clears throat> Excuse me. DDM tuning is where I got them at. I just got my shipping notification a couple minutes ago. Not too bad. Let's see how long it takes them to get here. Probably be next weekend say three to five days and it's if any of this oh shit oh okay I can still turn left yeah I got four-wheel drive I can just go through there right
But yeah, what are the HIDs? Um, this this is a 2007 Sorento, and they um, the headlight design changed in 07. Um, it's a uh, the low beam is a projector style housing. So I've had pretty good luck with throwing HIDs in a projector housing. It's not a proper HID projector housing, but it pretty much controls the light the way it should it needs to be controlled. I've done it in. Our 2006, we had a 2006, uh, maybe you guys remember, a, a Subaru Legacy GT Wagon. Well, and um, had a 2006 Miata, both had focus beam projector style lenses and they worked really well. I never had any glare problems. So, looking forward to that. And I, I went, went ahead and got low and high beams. Um, you know, when you, when you flash a high, that's not going to work too well because the, the HIDs take a, half a second to warm up or so. But um, I was thinking more on a dark country road. It'd be nice to have because the low beam and high beam are separate, so the low beam will maintain a good crisp um, pattern on the ground, and then um, the high beam will you know light up the rest of it. Uh, we'll see. I mean, the kit. The low, the low beam kit was like $30, and the high beam kit was like $30. So I think with tax it ended up being, it was like $60, and then it was like $20 worth of shipping, which is kind of high. But um, sometimes this stuff comes all the way from China directly instead of from their warehouse. So uh, which way do I want to go? Let's go Springdale to Cold. Let's go Springdale. To... Um, so it'll be nice. It'll these lights are pretty good, but the uh, HIDs will be better. And um, and then I finally ordered a Android stick for the TV. And um, I've got a quad core. It's a 80, 80 something number four. It's the latest version of the of that. And um, I can't remember what the hell it's called, but anyway, it's got a it's quad core 1.6 uh, Mali GPU. It's got um, an external Wi-Fi antenna, which will help a little bit. And what I liked was it has two full-size USB ports on the side of it. So instead of having to go to a hub, you could plug in one thing and then, you know, also a hub or two hubs or whatever. Um, kind of liked that. It'll do full 1080p. It's running KitKat. It's 2 gigs of DDR3 and I think it's 16 gigs of ROM. And then you can put a whatever size SD card up to 32 gigs into the slot on the side. Now, um... I'd gotten a Google Chromecast, and that works pretty good. It's pretty easy to use. Um, I don't like it as much as I like the Netflix app on my tablet. You know, because like you, you get done watching an episode of something, and normally if you're just watching it on your computer or on a tablet, it just automatically starts, if you're watching a series, it automatically goes to the next episode. And it does that so many times, and then finally it will stop and ask you, are you still watching? But with this thing, you every episode you got to stop and, you know, tell it to go to the next episode. It, it's kind of a hassle. Um, it's real nice for YouTube, but you know, the reality is this Android stick will do all of that and let me play movies that I've got, you know, already stored. And that's where the Chromecast kind of felt falls down. So it was like 65 bucks, 67 bucks, something like that. And for $13, I got a not a Bluetooth, but a, a, a Wi Fi um, controller that has a QWERTY keyboard, um, two D pads for games, and a touchpad in the middle. So I think that'll turn out pretty nice. This will be an interesting, interesting 
for the camera with all the lights around, how well it's able to deal with that stuff. Ooh, let's not be behind the damn bus. Let me guess, that's probably a Harley. Boy, that girl looks comfortable on the back of that. Look at that. Her knees are up by her shoulders, by her elbows. And it's a hardtail. Wow. That's got to be comfy. Gas prices are all over. 389. I paid 367 yesterday up in up in north part of the town. No turn signals on it. Like I said, that's where this car kind of, in those bumps like that, definitely feels a bit like a truck. Oh well, right? This car does best if you give it like half throttle. It accelerates really nicely. That wasn't even half throttle. That's where it really does nice. You know, you don't really have to put it to the floor to make it go somewhere. It's 262 horse, 260 torque. Okay. So let's pull out in front of somebody. Alright guys, I think I'm going to call it a night. Y'all have a good day and be safe out there. Um, I don't want to overwrite the video that I did earlier today, and I don't know whether it will or not, so y'all have a good day.